Hello again. So happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And I always try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. What I got today is my standard pre-stretch 16 by 20 canvas. What I did was I went to your local hardware I picked up some spray paint, some different blues and different tones that I thought I would use today. I sprayed that, but make sure you're in a well ventilated area and you have a mask on. After that, completely dried, I loaded it up with a thin coat of liquid clear. That's going to help the oils go on a lot smoother. And if you missed a spot, you can see where the oils will drag in that, that location. So you want to make sure you cover it all with a thin coat of liquid clear. And that's where we're at so far. And any information and all the colors you'll need to paint along with me, if that's what you choose to do, will come across the screen somewhere in here. So today I thought maybe we'd do some colorful scene, trying to get into more colorful bushes and trees, maybe a meadow. Who knows, maybe I might put a old log cabin in, maybe, maybe a little bridge. Who knows, I haven't decided yet. I think we're just going to start from here and, and we'll see what we come up with. And we always like to have some liquid, liquid clear on here. I use this little fan brush. That liquid clear kind of thins it. Just using this brush right here. Well, we'll come up to some sky. I think we'll put in some titanium white on that little fan brush. Load it up on both sides, just like that. Maybe our light source is over here. Load up some more paint. Make the horizon. Get some color in here. We want to make it colorful, I said. Let's try to go into some, some alizarin crimson and that same brush. Just like that. Come up here. Some of that dark color. I always got to think darker. Seems to stand out more. I'm going to clean that off. Use odorless paint thinner. right back into the white. Maybe some uh, little bit of liquid white. Liquid white's a little bit thinner. We just put that in there just like that. Come into this blender brush. It's real soft. We'll come in and we'll circular motion. Just the corner of the brush. Get some nice red or red sky in there. To clean that off. off the excess. Come into that white again. I'm going to put some more white. Kind of like this, just the way that is there. Come into the blender brush again. Tap that in there. Go up into that blizzard crimson. Circular motions. Well, 
kinds of dark, light, pinkish. mountains back here we have some of that color going on almost makes it look like there's clouds back here and all we're doing is circular motion that's what I like I like to get that color in there wipe that brush off again Let's come in to some who knows, a little bit of purple I think. Lizard and crimson and phthalo blue. A little bit of liquid clear and some white. in the distance. Wipe that off. Come into this brush we use for the liquid clear. I'm going to take that and we're going to blend that down. You can make the mountain as steep or as level as you want just by pulling this down. You can make little hills and going uh who knows wipe some of that off the more you wipe off the softer it gets and that's what you want at the bottom you want that base to look misty different different angles and maybe off in the distance you know what kinds of diff different things 
happening and we didn't even have to use any snow or anything. That's always a good thing. I use paper towels, rags, wipe the brushes off. Now we'll come into this blender brush and set that down. We'll come in and we'll tap this right at the base. Kind of get it misty. Some neat little things happening down there by doing that. Step back and you get a look of the colorful we'll come back into this. And we'll get a little bit of white distant and a little bit of that mountain color just to get the illusion a little bit of the white of the mountains little old paint and you come in here and maybe our light source is right around the mountain so Could really much matter. You don't want to hold that back there way off in the distance. A little bit more paint. softness. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to leave that like that. Come into the fan brush liquid clear, some of that same mountain color, make some distant trees, distant trees. Just like that. And we'll take the corner of the brush. Just tapping down. Gives the illusion of distant trees. Just tapping. Different light, different heights.
something like that. down just at the, with the tip of the brush it all was a little sharp sharp things that you see at the tops of the trees if you ever look all the little clean that one off set this down and we'll come in and we'll tap that using this blender brush we'll tap this circular motion Go up, pull slightly up on it, slightly Leave that gap in between there, that mist gives it layers. That's kind of what you're looking for. Maybe. Maybe. I like the idea. Maybe put another, another mountain over here. Use some darker colors. Load it right up. Get a little roll of paint like you did back there. Maybe this one is up here. loading it up. here we'll blend this down right in front of those trees
wiped that off. Just like we did the one in the back. Where we'll, we're softening it. Softening it as we go down. Come in and put our snow in. Get some white, a little roll of paint. Here and there. Some in the back. paint on there. Canvas. Take what it wants. This one is real peaky here. Coming down pretty sharp. here going. Can blend that right away. Grab some more white in the back there. your knife. Yeah, 
different angles. as it goes down deeper. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to set that down again. Come into the blender brush. I'm going to tap this all the way down into some of that to the lay of the mountain. You want to go up like that as you're coming down. It kind of blends that in there just like we did right there. Just like that. Who knows what we're going to have going on down here but we can always soften that in. back there. Could have some color in here. Going to put some trees in here. Clean this blender brush off again. We'll use this quite a bit. Want to keep it as clean as we can. Always knock the excess off. Get a lot of paint thin around there. Okay. Now we need some some trees. Distant trees. Distant trees. I'm gonna load up this little brush here. Two inch brush. This one right here. I'm going to come back in. Put on some. I use liquid clear. I'm going to come into some dark colors, maybe some brown and sap green. Pull it in one direction. Maybe some black. Darken it. Mostly green though. make some bushes. You want that rounded edge. I'm going to come in here. Just tapping this. Just tapping it and get some bush bushes. leave a gap down there. All I'm doing is pushing up, tapping it. Who knows, maybe over here, we can have something, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do over here, but Do something. Something colorful. Some darker colors going.
bushy, bushy areas. wide down here because I want to have it want to get it as colorful as I can get different different types different things bushes and whatever we don't color down here we'll Put some land, land to it. So it don't really matter how far we come down. Just as long as we get some stuff happening. Get some different trees and bushes and you know so with that I'm gonna clean this brush off. I'm gonna use that to highlight the bushes. some colors here. I need a lot of liquid white. Liquid white and some lizard crimson I think. Get a pink color. come in and highlight it. Highlight it more. Just pulling it towards you. something 
down here. Okay, got some of that going on. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll wipe off some of that color. And we'll come into some liquid white. Pull it in the same direction and we'll come and highlight. Highlight some of that same same area. Come in to a little brush here. We'll use a liner brush. This one right here. Liquid clear. And some of that dark green colors. in some branches and twigs. Blow it right up. Just like that. some different twigs and Same one that we used. We're going to add some more color. Since we got that pink back there, I think that really stands out. Really stands out. So, we'll come into some blue now. Blue is always a nice color. Do the same thing that we did. Pulling it in one direction. Rounding the edge off. And who knows? Maybe we can come in here. Right here. 
see what you got going on. Maybe this one's a blue one up here. here and there. Okay, clean this brush off again. come back in with uh, land. That looks pretty colorful now. Have to step back and look at it. And I like the pinks.
grassy areas down here. A little bit of a meadow. Browns, Van Dyke Brown and Night Black. Sap Green. Brown. Load it right up. We'll come and tap this. We'll tap this over here. cabin in or just leave it? Leave it. I wanted to get color in here. I'm going to set this down here. i going to pick up some more sap green. It's a darker. Darker green. Step back. that house cabin so I think I'm going to set this down for now and let's come in I think 
put it on this side. Maybe this have maybe that could be water. So that can be its roof. And then come over here. Marbly. One roll of paint. We'll come in right in here. Marbly. Come in and highlight some of these.
have different layers up here where it's shingles. that sharp edge and we'll come in here and we'll do a door. Door and maybe a window here. Maybe a bigger, maybe there's a window on the other side there. Let me put this down for a second. Come in here. the other spots. Let's put some color in there. Let's put some yellow, some reds, or some yellow. Touching up on the yellow, making it as bright as you can. Get that illusion, the illusion of white. some of that away. 
when I try to get that get that car just so. Uh, Cutting it up. Make it look like there's some light coming through there. That's what we want, just like that. Then what we'll do, take this palette knife here, and we'll come in and we'll do a do a line there. off right here. Underneath. Takes off that edge there. in here. We'll get some yellow coming right up to the bottom of it. right back and we'll finish the rest. 